So there are physical changes in your body which might give a sign or clues as to whether you might have cancer. Without having to see your doctor, who might not even check for this, there is a simple test that you can do in your own house that can look at abnormalities in your finger which is not a diagnosis but gives an indication of cancer and this is called finger clubbing. Finger clubbing is most commonly associated with lung cancer and cancer due to asbestos exposure known as mesothelioma. Other cancers include your gastrointestinal cancers such as esophageal cancer and Hodgkin's lymphoma. You can also use the sign to identify other medical conditions such as cystic fibrosis, heart disease, thyroid problems, bowel problems like cirrhosis, and in most cases, there is either no cause in healthy people or is simply genetic, we would have noticed finger clubbing in childhood. So if you do have finger clubbing and no other symptoms such as shortness of breath, weight loss, coughing of blood or coughing for more than three months or coughing for prolonged periods, don't be alarmed, but have it checked out just to make sure that you're not missing something out. As finger clubbing is common in heart and lung diseases, it is thought to be due to reduced oxygen levels in the blood. There are other several theories, but no one knows why you actually have finger clubbing. Like I said, it tends to affect the fingers of both hands and can also affect the toes. Normal fingernails come in different shapes and sizes from oval shapes to rectangular shape. You would usually expect a normal fingernail to be having an almost straight appearance or slightly curved appearance. I mean, can you tell me if my fingernail is that rectangular or oval shaped? With clubbing, your nail will look wider, almost covering the fingertip edges. And you might notice soft or flock to a sponge-like nail bed when you press the nail bed. Your fingernail will be warm to touch and the nail will curve downwards round to the fingertip with the shape of an upside down spoon. Now clubbing is not always obvious and in some people it can take weeks or years to develop. If you're not sure you have finger clubbing, you can do this test called the Shamroff's window test. So you place the fingernails of the same finger on both hands together, opposing each other. And when you do that, you should see a small diamond shaped window between the two nail beds and the fingers. So if you can, if I zoom in there, maybe you can see. If there is no space or window, then it's most likely you have finger clubbing. You can treat finger nail clubbing by treating the underlying cause, and in most cases, the nail will return to normal, but this is not always the case. Also, do not rely on the sign to identify lung cancer or other problems. For example, five to 15% of people with lung cancer will have finger clubbing. So which means as much as 90% of lung cancer would not have finger clubbing. So like I said, this is a simple test that you can do at home, which can identify lung cancer or any other cancers such as cancer due to asbestos exposure, esophageal cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma and other conditions and, might and it might tell you if you've got any heart or lung problems. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please share, like and subscribe.